let's test the latest software update. So I'm now at 2017.32.17 space 72.2130C. And it just braked really hard for a car that was just parked on the side. So that's not good. Let's see what it does here. Um, so usually when I go up the bridge, uh, going over the top is no problem. But um, it's more the going down section and then when it goes flat again, that it veers off to the side a little bit. So let's see what it does at the top here. Yeah, that's more or less okay. And at the bottom, so the line is disappearing on the left, it stays straight. It veers off a little bit to the right again. So maybe a small improvement, but not really that noticeable. Uh, let's try again on this hill. Let's see what it does. It stays pretty good. It stays pretty good. So uh, yeah, that's that's a good part. Here we're coming up to a divider. Of the road and sometimes it just veers into it so let's see how it works here yeah it's still going to the to the divider though um, I get the impression that when you get these higher curbs which are painted like uh, a road mark um, because it's higher maybe the camera sees it as a little bit more distant and then it tries to go to the middle of that little more distant line um, and then yeah of course it goes a little bit closer to, to the side uh, of that curve which is uh, pretty dangerous to damage your rims so that is something that uh, Tesla should uh, work on in the future now we're on the highway section enabling autopilot uh, let's see what it does for the lane change to the right smooth it goes smooth it used to have something like two three second wait okay let's try to the left yep it starts immediately so that's good now maybe it's related to passing a car so let's see what I'm what it does here so going to the right yep now it waits it waits and only now it goes so there's still that delay once you pass the car it needs to I don't know if it's timed or not, uh, but it's waiting for three to four seconds until it uh, it goes to the right. So uh, let me try that again here. So passing the truck. I'm passed, going to the right. One, two, three, three seconds before it actually uh, starts to maneuver. Now there's no car on my left, right? So I want to pass those cars in front of me. Going left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The car passing by, it takes the car passing by. It doesn't even want to initiate. Um, so that's that's a bug. Right? The car doesn't want to initiate the lane change. Let's try that again. So I'm approaching the truck. Going left. Now it does it. Oh, it goes back to the same line. Because there was a car behind me on the dirt lane and it seemed like he was going to do that and then it didn't do it anymore so maybe detected the car and then assumed it was in the wrong lane that would mean that the rear looking cameras would be active right now that would be a new one so that's something that I should test again So if it passes a car, then it uh, definitely needs some space. Oh, it's braking, it's braking. It's, I'm seeing a car on my dash where the truck is. So it's in the wrong lane, but the car is stopping for it. So that's not good. Uh, maybe it's a calibration thing, let's hope. But that's definitely not good. Okay. 
let's see what else we can uh, we can try out. So it sees the car in front of me. I'm passing the truck two, three seconds. Going to the right. It's it's more fluid that way. doesn't see the line and now it's started to go. Okay. <coughs> doesn't complete the lane change in one cut though. That's weird. Okay, so this is the ideal situation here. Um, I'm going to wait one more car. There's one coming, so I'm going to change lanes. Must have been a glitch because now it changes the lanes without a problem. So that was a weird one. Let's uh, let's see if we can reproduce that in the next couple of days then. Here I'm getting the impression that the car is going a little bit too much to the center. I like to keep it a little bit more to the outside. What does it do here? There's a car here. There's a car there, it's going to break for the car, it's going to break for the cars in the other lane, which is not good at all. It's, this is worse than the previous one, or the previous update. Coming up on, at a stopped car, it seems to break before it displays the car on the dash. Uh, braking is not that hard, so it's really smoothing that out. That seems to be a little bit better. It's still holding quite a distance from the car in front when stopped. On the one hand that might be a good thing when you get rear-ended so you don't hit the car in front of you but you don't usually account for these uh, situations and sometimes it's weird it's almost like one car length in between when you stop. Um, so yeah that, that's a bit weird. So. Uh, you should be able to make that a shorter distance when you come to a complete stop. Here I'll probably just follow the truck, which is doing like 56 now. Should be no problem with this section. Yep, I'm doing as expected, same as before. Now here the car used to go a little bit too much to the left in the right hand corner. Let's see how it does now. Right now we seem to be in the middle of the lane, which is good. Yeah, it's holding the middle a lot better now uh, in turn. So yeah, that's, that's a positive point. A little bit up ahead, uh, there's a lane shift. It's not a lane change, but a shift of lanes. Um, the car used to brake for that. It could take the turn at, uh, let's say, 60, maybe 62. Uh, right now we're doing 70. Okay, let's see what it does here. The truck is again stop. The car is stopping for the truck, which is in the other lane. It's displaying the car being in the other lane, well actually it is in the other lane but it's displaying the car here. So here we're doing 70 now, I don't think it's going to make the turn here. Yeah, barely, barely. But it didn't slow down anymore so it used to slow down a little bit to take that turn. Uh, but now it doesn't and it seems like it's a little bit late to react to do the, so the first corner it's okay, so the first part of the corner it's okay and then when it needs to turn back it seems like it's, it's reacting too slow to notice. But yeah, some improvements, um, some deterioration as well, but maybe that's due to calibration. Uh, we'll just have to uh, wait and see in the next couple of days how the car uh, reacts to all these different kind of situations. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.